二三四。Are you tired of punching the air when you're doing your martial arts training? I've got the solution for you. Watch this video and see what my solution is if you're tired of punching air. It's here. Ho ho! Looking for this unboxing and how to put this together video coming up. Let's take a look what we got in the mail. <laughs> this is something I have wanted for years. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. One way out. Ha ha! That's right. Ha ha ha! We'll show you how to put it together shortly. One of the complaints that I saw in the reviews for this particular product was the difficulty in putting the sand inside. So what we got here, see we have the hole there, right? So the sand's gotta go there. We have six 25 kilogram bags of sand. To put in there. So what I've got is an orange juice container here. I plan on, not sponsored, <laughs> I, I plan on taping this to here and then pouring the sand in here from the bag and see if that'll work as a funnel. I want to tape this to here so we can pour sand in that which will go in here, in theory. Now, one of the recommendations that I saw was to uh, buy a funnel, like a gas funnel and then take the lid or the, uh, the, the shroud or whatever off of it. And, but then even then, they said it took 30 minutes per bag. 30 minutes per bag uh, to pour the sand in. I'm hoping, oh, monkeys. I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. If it does, I'm not going to finish it today. Let's go outside and test it out. Crap, I already see the problem. So here's the problem. This is a 25 kilogram bag. That's like 55, it's a 55 pound bag of sand. <laughs> I am not gonna hold this thing up. <sighs> so maybe I have to use a scoop. Uh, Cause that, that is just uh, too freaking heavy. And the sand looks like it's wet. That's not good either. Well. You got, you got three choices uh, for this mop, the base here. You can fill it with sand, you can fill it with water, and you can fill it with sand and water. So the fact that it's wet, that tells me that that's more than 25 kilograms. Uh, now, am I gonna be able to hold this up? No, I'm not gonna be able to hold it up that height. <laughs> I mean, what, what are you gonna do? I'm not strong enough to hold this up at this height pour it in there. Now, I could put this down somewhere, but then I have to lift the whole thing up. And that's not going to work either. Well, if you wanted to play in the sand as a kid. Oh, that's a problem. See, the sand needs to be dry. Oh man, this is going to take a long time. You just have to put a lot less in. <laughs> wow. 
one 25 kilogram bag. We'll come back after some coffee and do another one. See how long it took. The day has come to put this thing together. So I read the reviews of this product and a lot of people were complaining how difficult it was to put together. So one of the reasons I got this particular product was to make a video. But what it looks like they've done. So they've made it into an interlocking system here. You see this? So it's going to go down, over, and down, right? And you can see they've already got, it's already all put together here. You got the screws here. And you got some rubber caps here to protect the plastic here from the screw itself so it looks like all we need to do is <coughs> insert twist push down and the same for the top part here the top part is the same way now this actually can come all the way out and the reason that this comes out here is because it's an adjustable height depending on how tall the person is who's punching the bag so let's get to it so we've got <laughs> Three bags of sand in here, wet sand at that. We we wanna, we still wanna weigh one of those bags. They're advertised at 25 kilograms, but they're wet. I think they weigh more. So, first thing we wanna do is go ahead and, oops. Let's put the cap on. Now we don't have water in there splashing around, so we don't have to worry about that. Plus we're gonna keep this outside. But either way, you should keep all your parts and stuff like that. So. The first thing we're going to do is put this onto here. Now I've got these all loosened up so that the cap, cap is flush with the end here so I can't push this out anymore. So then what we need to do, in theory, is line up the first screw, push it down, turn it, and push it down again. All right. From there, all we should have to do. Now it does come, it does come with its own screwdriver, but it's a small screwdriver, so I figured, okay, let me go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just do these halfway on each side. Try and get things even all the way around. Okay, we're still a little resistance there. Seems like the lower ones go in all the way, the upper ones don't seem to go in as far. I would say as part of your maintenance, you're going to want to check these screws every once in a while. Oh, that's nice and tight. Okay, see that's nice and tight. Make sure these are all the way, part way out. No. Alrighty. Now I think I'm going to take this out of here to begin with so I can deal with this as a separate entity. So here again, going down, turn, and down. Just like that. It's almost punch and bag time. <laughs> Let's go halfway. So the next thing is we're gonna put that over the top of this, then we go down, we have to remember this, right? Twist, down, twist, lock. Down, twist, down, twist, lock. So 
that's, that looks like the bottom position. Technically speaking, if I'm going to be attacking an opponent that's the same height as me, if this is supposed to be the punching area, then I'm going to want to have, like this is from the chest. I'm not going to be punching the guy in the gut, right? You're going to be punching him in the chest. Because normally when we aim martial arts, we always aim solar plexus and head, right? So that means I think we need to bring this up. Yeah, at least that high, if we can. Uh -huh. So, this might be a little bit more difficult. Oh, there it is. Ah, we got it! <laughs> yes! Now, probably should use gloves if you haven't punched in a long time. I haven't. My hands are not conditioned for punching. We got ourselves a bag. Can we kick it? So if I'm going to kick it, I would probably lower it until my legs are good enough, flexible enough to get up there, right? So right now that's a little too high for me to kick. <laughs> but not too high to punch. One of the reasons that I believe having a bag as part of a martial arts program is extremely important is because when you're practicing in the gym and you're doing your kata, one, two, three, okay, you're hitting air, right? But when you're actually hitting something solid, now there's if you're not holding your wrist and your fingers and your everything correctly, your body will tell you immediately. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching. I'll leave a link in the description to one of these types of things. Uh, um, I can earn a commission from any links that you uh, click in the description just to let you know. Uh, but thanks for watching. More to follow. More to follow. <laughs> yeah.